Dear colleagues and students, right before the start of the summer holidays, I have some news to share with you. As you saw in a recent video message from Martin Paul, he is stepping down as our president this autumn. I'm very honored to tell you that, supported by our vice president, Nick Bos, the deans and the university council, that the supervisory board has appointed me as his successor. Now, since coming here five years ago, I've gotten to know Maastricht University as an innovative place, a place where you can still pioneer and build. A wonderful, agile university, even under difficult conditions, like the last year and a half. All in an environment with students and colleagues who challenge and inspire me every day. And in a region with enormous potential, with Brightlands as the ultimate place for collaborating and connecting disciplines and partnerships. I want to continue to contribute to the development of our university and our region for a number of years to come. Now, thanks to my predecessors, from day one, I will be in a position where I can add my own insights, ambitions and energy to this role. The recognition and rewards program still needs a boost, which means more attention to everyone's diverse qualities and competences. And I think also, that we need to apply this program to all non-academic staff who contribute so much to our university, day in and day out. We will therefore expand the Recognition and Rewards initiative to include our entire community. There is also still a lot to be accomplished in the areas of inclusiveness and diversity, which I will continue to lead together with the support of the Diversity Office. I envision a uniting accessible and approachable executive board and leadership, which is what we need to successfully expand our university even further. For example, relating to our increasing profile in the domain of sciences and engineering, without ever losing sight of the importance of our existing disciplines embedded in our six faculties and on our campuses. For this, we need to continue to invest in our partnerships and networks regionally and internationally, and of course, seek new ones that complement us. Firm leadership is also needed to tackle some long existing topics, such as workload pressure and the structural underinvestment in higher education and research in the Netherlands. In The Hague, I will aim to make a strong case for the structural increase in the funding of universities. The current underfunding influences all our workload, while our tasks and challenges continue to increase. Now, this really has to change. Of course, I will miss the beautiful rector's collar, which I have worn with great pleasure and pride. But I'm taking my motivation and several topics close to my heart with me in my new role. I'm grateful to all my colleagues, especially Martin and Nick, the previous and current deans, and of course also the Maastricht University office staff, all of whom have given me the space and inspiration to develop since I came to Maastricht almost five years ago. So I'm really looking forward to this new challenge. But for now, I wish you all a wonderful, very well-deserved holiday after an academic year with so many challenges. Have a great summer and I hopefully will see you in person again in the new academic year.